It's day one now of who will be the next England manager and bear with us because this is going to go on, I think, for an extended period of time because they have uh, a, a cushion. There is four games where Gareth Southgate, um, the youth manager of England, will take charge of England to try and steady the ship that Sam steadied for a whole one game, 100% winning record, oh, wow. 67 days in charge. It was, so good for him. It was 67 days. And you called me out. Days. Why did you think Because the update wrong. on my phone literally read... 68 days as manager, so I blame immediacy. Immediacy ruins everything. Well, you just know that when it comes to England's turmoil, don't question my statistics, because when they are in turmoil, I'll make sure that I have all I my stats like backed up. I would like to be England manager. I wouldn't even bother with 67 days. I would bother with about four. Take my $400,000 bribe and <laughs> peace. Put your name in the hat. You might actually end up lucky. By the way, in, uh, in the midst that game, there was one Sky Sports correspondent that was like, yeah, England are going to be all right. You've only got four games. It doesn't really mean anything. You'll be able to steady ship. You're playing Scotland one of those games, you twat. And we're going to destroy you. We're going to unstick. We're going to throw the passengers off the board of the ship, which is already rocking, which I don't what think will happen. Scotland, England's history? Who's the better team? I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were going to be like, uh, is there a movie about that in Scotland, England history? Braveheart? <laughs> uh, no, not that goddamn history. It's like, isn't that, like, I'm just gonna quote Cenk, it's the reason we hired you. Yeah. But on top of that, uh, what, uh, do you want me to say, Jason? Yeah, objectively historically, better? England are better. Of okay, course they are. Hear, they get more all... people to choose from. They're just better than us, right? Like, you don't uh, want to have about, me say Iceland? it on camera. But Iceland beat England, so is. Yeah, well, then that was a chance. <laughs> uh, so, Scotland, I mean, I get mad because it it's hard to admit. It's like just admitting that someone's better than you. It doesn't so come easy. So I just want to make sure I have this like as clear as daylight on my paper here. It's it's historically, objectively, England better than Scotland at soccer. Well, okay, I got it. Does everyone have that? Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, all right. So to to get to the point of this <laughs> is, <laughs> sorry, I might get demonetized. Uh, so to get to the point of this is who is going to be England's next manager uh, now that Sam Allardyce has left his post? Alan there Peter. are rumours circulating the good old interwebs that have thrown in the names of Alan Pardew and we actually have a card names. that showcases some of them. So let's take a peek. I really wanted to name this uh, England's next top manager. Like, <laughs> America. like model. America's next top model. The card. The card. The card. The card. Hit me with the card, Jacory. Alan Pardew is... Uh, on the tip of everyone's lips when it comes to the Steve Bruce, Eddie Howe, Gareth Southgate, who is in charge at the moment. You never know if he has a good four-game run. He might just stay with his post. Jurgen Klinsmann, uh, of course, current manager of the U.S. men's national team. Gary Neville, failed manager at Valencia. Good pundit on Sky Sports. How he is even in the running because he was second in line to Roy Hudson during their worst or one of their worst performances I've seen today. How is he even in the running? God knows. Laurent Blanc would be actually a very interesting hire. I think that'd be a good one. Slavin Bilic and Vincent, Vincent Del Bosque. All right, so let me just rule out several of these so far. There is no way on God's earth Vincent Del Bosque is managing England. This is a guy that had led Spain to just a ridiculous amount of success with talent on tap. Iniesta, Javi, Puyo. Like, I'm not saying that he, he, would be, he, would not, he would be discouraged because there's not enough talent. He's just not going to step into that job. You're literally walking into a job where your expectation is going to be to t return England to a position where they're not losing to teams like Iceland. And I don't think that he wants to take that position. I don't think that he is going to come into a task where you literally need to rebuild a team from the foundations that have just been shattered even lower than what we imagined. You need a fixer. And my fixer, who's not on the list before I get to those, Gus Hiddink. The guy notoriously is a plumber. He just fixes leaks in teams, right? Yeah, he didn't have the best tenure on certain major clubs that he was had the opportunity, but he fixed Chelsea when they needed fixed. He's uh, delivered Australia past their expectations. South Korea? Anyone remember where they went to in that World <laughs> Cup? Yeah, Wait, they had a few refs. What's that fix? Yeah, a few refs had their yeah. pockets right, lined with Sam not, Al-Radice. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> Sam, hey, look, Sam al is who's coming back as the uh, as a, uh, in disguise. Uh, for that was a fixed World Cup. Still, he had to put the, he had to choose eleven players However, that could play into that England fix. England would England would take it fixed if they could in twenty eighteen. They wouldn't care. Yeah, I don't think they would. 
Okay, That's all I got. I mean, look, I, I want Alan Party to do it because I like his dance. <laughs> like, I have almost no uh, dog in this race, no horse in this race. Alan Party England's, can be a dog in this for race. England's next manager. Don't take Jurgen Klinsmann away from us, please. That just doesn't seem necessary. He's done better than any of our other managers in the history of yeah. football in America. Uh, and I, I see your point on Vincente Del Bosque. Yeah. Maybe he's just feeling a little challenge. Maybe he's like, you know, I'm going to go to England. I'm going to... Do it for a year, get him ready for the world, and then just bail. Yeah, I, I no, think there's no. I, I, I think I'm going to go out there on on the same limb that I usually do. But again, I'm not as confident, so I won't eat my shoe. I'll why? eat my tie. You'll eat your tie. Why yeah. is it that Alan Pardew is so? Ex- why like why does he want it so bad? So does this right? By Has the way, he always been like pegged for it. Does this sudden sense of patriotism around England? Right, we need to get a manager that's English, knows what it takes. We need to get him in there to make sure that he knows how to manage this team, even though their most successful manager in recent years with the highest winning percentage was Fabio Capello. Either way, there's this idea that they just need to get back to good old English roots. You hired in the guy who was literally bred in the english ness of roots, and he took a little paycheck and went running. So uh, I think that that's a bullshit ideology. I think that you need a manager who obviously knows how to play football. But again, it's not who they want, it's who's going to be willing to step up to the job. So if you go back to the card really quick, um, out of those people who I think are good candidates, Slavin Bilic, there's no way he's still, he won't leave West Ham's post until he's comfortable. He took them to great heights last year and they're suffering at the moment. He wants to rebuild. Jurgen Klinsmann, no, he's not leaving the US at the moment. He has got a good group of young players. They're in the similar standings of, the, of England, by the way. Let me just reiterate that to the, the, the blown away, upset fans already who are going crazy. Prove to me why England should be considered more so than the US at the moment. Because the US have an easier route to the World Cup. The last World Cup they were in, they made it to the last 16. What nearly one sitter away from making it in to the quarterfinals. Where we would have got crushed. We probably would have got crushed, <laughs> but it's further than what England got. So why would Jurgen Klinsmann leave? Another argument there to be made. Lauren Blanc is a decent shout, but Lauren Blanc, again, managed PSG, uh, good manager there, had a great squad of players. He could possibly be up for that chance. Who do you want to manage England? Because Hiddink! Oh, you said it already, sorry. Get the man in there! I know England have a notorious feeling of Dutch managers. Who Van Gaal just ruined every Dutch manager. to manage Scotland? Because Hiddink! <laughs> no joke. I like our manager. Gordon Strachan. What if Gordon Strachan goes to... I don't know, whatever you said, goes to England. By the way, throw out an image of Gordon Strachan and you'll probably look it up on your phone. He's the most Scottish looking old man you've People ever seen. People get in your mad life. at me when I pull this out too much. No, but this is this is this is for the purpose like, of this clip. Get off the floor. Right, I'll tell you how to spell it. Gordon G-O-R-D-O-N and Strachan. Strachan? S T R A Strachan? S T S T R A C H E N. Is he the most Scottish looking old man you've ever seen in your life? Turn the camera to the this camera. He kind of looks like uh, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Everyone in the studio pulled out as well. They're all laughing. <laughs> you know, shot, they're all in the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. I, I love Gordon Strachan. Used to manage Celtic, successful manager there. Um, and I will always uh, be grateful for his service to the mighty Glasgow Celtic. Ah. Yeah, that's it. All right, let us know what you think. Who should be England's next manager? Bear with us. This will be one of many parts because there will be rumours and people set. We don't know. There's my call. Goose hitting. If you guys want him, you should go and get him, even though I don't know if he's in another job at the moment. I think he's taking a long vacation after steadying the Chelsea ship. Hit us up on Twitter, Francis underscore Maxwell, Jason Rubin 91. Instagram, Jason, all-star over here mm. on the All-Star Tuesdays on the main show. Post on Instagram of that. Go and give it a like and go and tell me what you think of Jason's face. Caption it in that <laughs> comment section below. That's how you